Welcome to today's Legal Futures Commercial Property Update Winter 2020. I'm Sarah Thompson Copsey. Today we're going to be looking at nine cases that have been before the courts in the past few months, including one that actually should have gone in the summer update and didn't go in the summer update. So we'll pop that in as well. So eight cases that have been before the courts recently and one that should have been in the summer update and somehow got missed out. Um, so we're going to be looking at a couple of cases on restrictive covenants. Um, we're going to be looking obviously at the Millgate case uh, and another case called Denninson. Uh, we're going to be looking at a case on service charges um, and that's going to be a really interesting case. It's uh, called Sarah and Hussain Asset Management Limited against Blacks and it's an overturning of the earlier two decisions. So something I hadn't expected uh, but very interesting uh, to read and I think I'm really uh, going to say uh, the case is, is really saying that whatever is drafted in a lease, if you don't want it there or, or you want more restrictions, then you should draft something in. You should either take it out or draft it in. But if there is a wording that's within a lease that allows a landlord to do something that seems wrong, then the likelihood is in a professionally drafted lease or, or contract, the courts are going to uphold it. We'll be looking um, at a case on conditional break rights. It's a case that's going to the Court of Appeal or at least leave to appeal to the Court of Appeal has been granted. Um, I'd be very intrigued to see whether the Court of Appeal overturned that one. So it's about the meaning of vacant possession, but it's so specific to the facts of the case that I'm slightly surprised it even has leave to appeal. We're going to be looking at um, the Vodafone case on renewal rights. These are obviously under the uh, Electronic Communications Code, uh, Telecoms Code, but um, the, uh, the in the transitional provisions, so looking at the impact of the 54 Act there on renewal terms of 